welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam Dad Kim Kong. Welcome back to Digimon Cyber Sleuth. In the last video, we faced off against a humanoid eater. And in this video, we are doing, uh, missions. Crap missions. I hate these missions. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, level four. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go already. Let's Oh Hello Kitty Mom. So here we'll put I have left it. Oh detective, great. I need your help so much. See I lost my precious thing and don't think it's anywhere around here. The place I think it would be around Kaloon level 4. If you could find it for me, it'd really make my day. Counting on you detectives, so good luck. I'll just be hanging out here until you get back. And it's best to check everywhere. Because one time I went through a whole stupid level looking for it and it was right at the entrance. That was so annoying. Uh, let me zoom out. It'll help me see better. Oh, I hate this level. It gives you an excuse to battle, so that's fun. Yay! Yay, there we go. I screw you. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, that did work. Yay! Oh, I can't wait for when Repamon is stronger. I love Repamon. I have a few favorite champion Digimon and Repamon happens to be one of them. Uh, I have favorites. I say Black Optimon, Depamon, um, I'd have to look at my index on Digimon, see which ones are my favorite. Oh, yeah, and Wasmon. Wasmon's also my favorite. But before this game, I actually didn't know Wasmon existed. So, it became my new favorite. Okay, it's not up here. Uh, it's gonna be a bitch, isn't it? Nope, that's a bitch. I just playing using the good attacks when... Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, no. Bad gear one. Now we'll use a good one. Okay, there we go. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Bad gear over here. So we're gonna have to go deeper in. Which is annoying! I freaking hate this place sometimes. Oh, I'm much wrong way. Damn it. This whole video is just gonna be me going, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, 
Oh great, I panicked it, but that's not gonna help. Come on, take it out, take it out. There we go. I know you're all expecting me to talk about the last couple of 59 episodes, but I can't. I can't say anything because they're that good. All I can say is, go watch it yourself. Hey, if you're not, did you my fan? What are you doing? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Because, I know people who are at that point where they acknowledge Digimon. They still prefer Pokemon, I still think it's better. Um, for me, when I was a kid, I had a rough image of what Digimon was. I didn't really see it very much because it didn't air on TV that much. And the only times I did see it was whenever I rented a VHS tape when I was a kid. But now that I'm older, being 23 and all, I seen the series, I've seen almost all the series, um, uh, I still gotta try and watch Fusion even though, to me, the Fusion aspect ruins the whole deal for, uh, that show, because I know it's aimed for yet much younger people, the problem is, uh, oh, there it is, way up there. The problem is, uh, you got, uh, fans who know the original stuff and all the previous series. And what I heard was that because of how, because of the reception Digimon Fusion got, it uh, nearly killed the franchise here in in the west. Yeah, we'd be the west west, and it nearly killed it over here, which is a shame because uh, I enjoy Digimon. I watched all the series. I still gotta uh, get through. Data Squad, and, <laughs> and I think Data Squad is really good, it's just, I'm slow at watching shit, like, uh, Black Clover's been out god knows how long, and I'm just now watching it, that's how sad it is, and I'm almost all caught up, but I I really, really like it. The only reason I didn't watch it before was because I was into fairy tale, and now that I'm watching it, I realize it's a lot similar to fairy tale, except uh, it wastes no time on the drama and the humor. The humor is like really mixed in with the show and the characters, uh, because there's not as many, uh, one, as, there's not a really big group of them to, well, in, as, in the aspect of care, actual characters, there's a lot, but the focus is more on, where, on, it's more focused than in Fairy Tale, because a lot of the characters weren't uh, developed all the way through. Like, they were either one note or just a random character that got 
included, but uh, they don't mention, they don't do anything with them anymore. And that's what, uh, that's what uh, Black Clover really fixes, because it it gives a lot of focus to everyone's problems and everyone's dilemmas, and honestly. If uh, you had to tear my arm off, I would say that the friendship in Black Clovers is actually much tighter than it is in Fairy Tale. Because you don't have a lot of characters like in the guild, in the. in the. Oh god. Eh, I need to quit talking while I'm doing this because it's... My finger's slipping. But, it's basically... Uh... It's a lot tight-knit in Black Clover. Like, the focus is given a lot on uh, the characters of the Black Bulls. And it's perfect because we gotta get to know them because they're basically a, f a part of the ensemble of main characters and it's great how well they go into the characters. You found it! You're the best! And then some detective. Okay, I sent, I sent your reward over to your office, I think. Maybe. Probably. I hope so. Ugh! I hate these lame missions. But I had to do them because it's required. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. Uh, I gotta get into more animes. I think the next one. Uh, oh no, not another level 4. Uh, I think the next one I'm gonna try and get into is Mob Psycho because I know it's it was made by the same person who made One Punch Man and it shows in the character of of uh, of uh, Saitama. Hey, detective, I have a favor I really need to ask you. It's the most precious thing, and I have no idea where it could be. I think I drive it somewhere around Kulun Level 4. Can you find it for me? I promise if you do, I'll give you something nice in return. Pretty please? It'd mean a lot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is so annoying. Having to check everywhere. Oh. Well, oh, oh no, wait, that was a metal. Why was there a fucking random metal there? And I didn't see it before. God, I'm stupid. Thanks, game. I was hoping it would have been easy this time. But I guess not. Thanks. Doing my luck. I'm hoping because of the quarantine that this channel will get more views and it's not a bad Because we're all stuck at home right now so I might as well spend all day finding shit to watch on YouTube or scrolling through Netflix or Hulu or whatever nonsense you like watching. Right now me and my mom are watching like four different shows at once. One's on, there's two on uh, uh, Prime and then there's a couple on Netflix so we've been watching. Uh, I don't know if any of you know this one but uh, we're watching a show 
that aired in 1983 called Erie, Indiana. And if any of you know what that is, congratulations. You, you're, you are as old as I am, but I didn't even know it existed. And apparently, Erie, Indiana is basically if you take uh, the crazy the crazy town of Haven throughout the series Haven and every story from uh, every story from Are You Afraid of the Dark and they were all real yeah so it was real crazy supernatural stuff happens and each episode focuses on a, a different one. The first one has to be the most amazing start to a series ever. It's all just talking about this kid. His family just recently moved in and a lady comes over bringing Tupperware. It's not Tupperware, it's called Foreverware. And what it is, is it keeps things sealed forever and the crazy thing about it is uh, the lady who you get the Tupperware from she is crazy because she keeps her kids her kids who were in the seventh grade in 1964 in Tupperware meaning there they were 30 years old. Crazy. <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> oh god. Meaning they're 30 years old, older than they should be. And, and it's just a great start to a show. And so it lays on the creep, creepiness, like the. Every anytime it involves a person being the the antagonist of the episode, it, they just lay on the creepness so well, and it, and it really works. Like I, I enjoy watching it because of how interesting it is. Just doing something like that. Damn it, Gargamon, for being asleep. There we go. Uh. Ah, there it is. No, it isn't. It's no fucking metal. Where is the damn thing? Uh, I got an item that I missed last time. Shows like that are really good. Anything from the 90s that was meant for kids that was spooky is really interesting stuff. Like they write it interestingly. Like where enough where it would be creepy to kids but intriguing to older people. That's because of the supernatural stuff going on in it makes it really. Interesting. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Hurry up and get your ugly face out of here. 
Try to deal with this. It's been the same three the last couple times. Come on. Oh my god. How annoying. Uh, still not enough. What was I even thinking in attacking like that? I knew that wasn't going to do very much. I knew that was going to even do less. Come on. There we go. Yay, combo! You guys leave a comment down below. What is your favorite? Old... This old-ish TV show that you like a lot. There we go. Oh, who's this guy? You want a bow? You think you've got a chance? You see the flame drummond behind me, right? Or are you looking over here because you want to fight? Sure, let's fight. Come on, flame drummond. Ah, uh, flame drummond, so cool. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ah, uh, nice hit. Nice hit too. Damn, I hate his attack. He, he can... Hit us all at once. Curse you. Come on. Come on. Yay. Oh, screw you and your triple attack. Let's see if this one will hit good. It is fire. Oh yeah, that's is great. I'm gonna try a different attribute. Okay, nah, that doesn't do much. Damn, screw you, man. Doing so much damage. Which is even your normal attack. Come on, Black Batman. Damn. Oh, damn it. Um. Okay, let's switch it up. Get the big cargo one's about to go. Oh, great. I forgot Q, you on fire type. Oh, that did great. Oh, Gargamon. Ah, screen, man. There we go. Yay! Ah, I'm sorry I acted so big. I'm the one who didn't really see your Digimon strength. For forgive me. And he ran away like a baby. Got memory up. Oh, yay! Miracle me. Great, so we got memory for the thing. Awesome. Go on, keep him on.
Oh, so close. Hey, one hit. Nice. Nice, Bakuman. Having to go all the way back through this bullshit. Good. Let me check. Do I have an item for. Let's see. What the heck is that? Okay, I have one. I need to buy a couple more of those. There we go, now I can. Thank God I didn't use this on the last one. My precious thing! You found it! I'm so relieved now. I sent your reward to your office. It's a token of my thanks. Okay, all done with that. Let's see, how much time do I have? Uh, we can do one other thing, and then end this episode. Guess I can call this fetch quest. <laughs> Seems there's some sketchy poster on the second floor of Broadway. Have you seen it? Second floor. Let's see. A sketchy poster. Where is the sketchy poster? This is. Oh wait, this is the first floor. My bad. Let's go to the second floor. Let's see. Where's the sketchy poster? sketchy poster what's that ah I see that sign caught your attention too the super ultra true puppet it's quite the intriguing name that's for sure like the name says it's an exquisitely crafted doll to me to look like just like a real human being that you can buy online or so I hear though calling it super and ultra true is a tad redundant they could have gotten the point across without using both terms. It's actually not that expensive. I'm thinking of saving my money, saving up my money and buying one myself. And it's made by Jorogumo Co. Ltd. A nice snappy name for a company, although there's a bit of a sketchy vibe to it. Too. Apparently, yeah. Anyway, I wonder who the model behind this doll is too. Kind of think of it. Hey, a case has come in from May at the Enoden Occult Research Club. Drop by the office when you can, alright? Alright, I guess that's our next mission. Going with the Occult Club again. Oh crap, went the wrong way. Guess we gotta do what we gotta do with the Occult Club again. Alright. Living dull dead person. Occult Research Club's May Project Place Broadway. Ugh, I can't read today. Have you heard of a super ultra true puppets? We ply our trade there. <laughs> hey, ugh. Oh, we were gonna talk to them. Detective Kurumi, you have to help us. You have to help us, please. May, calm down. I'm sure she'll help us. Tell me what's going on. What's wrong? Given that this is business from the occult club, 
I think we've got another supernatural case on our hands. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no. Probably. I don't think this has anything to do with the occult this time. Oh, the wild, the big fuss. Well, there are apparently these dolls being sold on the internet that look just like me and May. I think those dolls are called Super Hyper Ultra Lookalikes or something like that. You must be referring to the Super Ultra True Puppets. I've heard rumors about them. Alright, tell me more. These dolls, their faces, their bodies, everything from top to bottom looks just like us. They're so accurate, it's creepy. And to make it worse, they're being sold really cheap, real cheap. You'd think they could go for at least a little more money on the market. Uh, that's not really the problem here. You get that, right? But it still sucks. It makes me feel like they seem to have some kind of cheap piece of junk. I mean, I find it weird too that your doll costs several thousand more. Several thousand yen more than mine, but. Wait. So, you do care about the prices after. I said it's not important. Anyway, these dolls that look just like us are being bought by otaku all over the place. And when I think about what those guys are probably doing with or to them, it just really creeps me out. Hmm, you know... Ah, got something in my... This reminds me of another incident. I wonder if this is connected to that. What kind of incident? There's a really dicey looking service out there that's called the Perfect Girl Project. You can use it to get a living doll made in the image of your ideal girl and live the life you always dreamed of. Ew, that does sound creepy. But the police have been hearing about how owners of these dolls are going missing. I was just discussing it, just discussing it with Detective Matayoshi. Super ultra true puppets and living dolls made in the images of people's dream girls. I guess they sound like they could be related, but are you sure there's really a connection? That's the tough part to prove. To make dolls that look so similar to how you two really are, it takes having petty, pretty specific data on your bodies. I imagine getting your hands on something like that isn't exactly easy. Actually, I have an idea how they might have managed to pull it off. There is an LDC machine in, in an arcade in Akihabara that I think might be suspicious. LDC, you don't mean lustful dream checks, do you? There's certainly not one for subtle subtlety if that's the case. No, no, not that. I mean... Living Doll Club, that's what LDC stands for. Right, it's a machine that scans all of your body and makes a 3D printed figure of it. Our data could have somehow leaked out of that, I guess. Hmm, I definitely can't deny the possibility. Then our next step is clear. We need to head straight to Akihabara and gather info on this Living Doll Club machine. That'll be your job. As for me, I'll see if I can dig up anything else regarding the Perfect Girl Project. Living Doll Club. Okay, let's get over to Akihabara. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Running is so slow in this game. Okay, uh, you there. Huh? You, you want to talk to me? Why? What is it? Uh, Living Dog Club. Ah, Living Dog Club, is it? For a time there was a huge ad campaign about how it was used, it, how it used the ladies in 3D tech and whatnot. There was a Living Dog Club in the arcade down the way, wasn't there? Okay, first guy was right. Let's go to the arcade. Uh, oh, there's someone here. You there! I can tell from your body language you're frustrated and unhappy. Huh? Yeah, I'm talking about you. I know this is out of the blue, but I bet you're into beautiful women, aren't you? I am a woman. 
I'll have you know that I sell top-notch dolls of only the prettiest girls. Maybe you've heard of them. They're called Super Ultra True Puppets. Hey, it's you. You're the bastard. If you want, I can let you have one for cheap. Go ahead, check this one out for yourself. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking terrible. Granted, this one's an ugly one that was made as an experiment and it hasn't sold well. But you understand how real my dolls look now, right? You're awful! <laughs> well, if you're interested in having one of these for yourself now, I got something even better. It's a top service, secret service. Nobody can know. Mwahaha. <laughs> Let me ask you, how are you doing health-wise? Uh, best I've ever been. Great to hear, really. Even if you weren't 100% perfect, you'd probably still be fine. Huh? I bet you're bored with how your day-to-day -day life is going. Wouldn't you love to just throw it all away and spend it with the girl who dreams? Doesn't that sound fantastic? Oh my god, you're a pig. <laughs> because with the perfect girl project, I can offer you exactly that. With the perfect girl project, you can have your ideal girl recreate it and sit straight to your room as a living, breathing human being. That's fucking creepy. There's just one condition you have to abide by if you use the service. It's one condition you can be free from the tendom you lived up with until now. Well, <laughs> I bet you're wondering just what that condition is, actually. I understand, that's a fair question to ask. Tell you what, I'll let you in on that condition, free of charge. The one condition is that once your dream girl has been sent to your room, you can never leave it for the rest of your life. Oh my god, that's fucking awful. Simple, right? That's fucking terrible, are you kidding me? Oh, you don't have to worry about survival. The, girl takes, the girls take care of you, care of that for you. So what do you think? Not a bad deal, right? Hell fucking no. That's okay, take all the time you need. Once you know, once you know you want one, get in touch and I'll make it happen. Mwahaha. Right now I think I'll just go check out the LDC machine at the arcade. I'd be more fucking creeped out. Okay, here it is. How's your investigation into the LDC machine coming along? Honestly, you're just about to get started on it. Hmm, you encountered a suspicious man out by the LDC machine? That's good timing because I detected a faint digital noise signatures close to where you're standing. You better take a close, or close look at that arcade machine. I bet you'll find some clues about how these super ultra true puppets are being made. As usual, this case is starting to take some weird turns, so I'll be ready for anything in there. Looks like I connect. I can connect jump into the LDC unit. Ugh. I can't talk today. My hand's acting like a bitch. Oh. Another area. Ah, damn it. It's just baby Digimon in here. Kinda sad. Oh well, whatever. Okay, got some capsules. Okay, let's go here. Okay. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh wait, that one was already open. That's weird. Maybe I've been through this one before. And I just can't remember. Game! Game! Don't freeze up! We don't have time for you to freeze up. Uh, there's an item. In intelligence boost. Ah! Let's 
Paramon. Oh, another capsule. I want to heal. Let's go heal. That was dumb of me to jump into this without thinking about healing. There we go. Actually, I haven't bought anything in here. Ugh, still don't have enough money for that. Fuck you for being 200,000 yen. <laughs> I'm barely... I'm barely 50... 58,000. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's Infermon. Uh, I said the name wrong. Or I thought I had the wrong name. I take people's data, make dolls from it. Lots and lots of dolls. Dolls that steal souls, then people become dolls. The dolls are lifelike, the people are death-like. Huh? Who? What are you? And any interference must be punished. Any interference must be punished. Oh, this guy's a prick. Oh, let's get him, let's get him. Ah, I made him panic. Yay. I was worried that wasn't gonna work. Yay, he's attacking himself. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. Yay! Big hit, big hit. Big hit, big hit, ugh. Ah, even big hit. Good, good, good. Yay, got him. Oh, see, Jermon's max. There's something on the ground. Mysterious URL. Did, did, did you ju just come out of the out of the LDC machine? You, you're not with the cops or something, are you? Are you? I'm the cop's secret weapon. Oh, you realize that was who I was hitting up. I must not be on top of things like I used to be. Well, I've made a good amount of money as is. It's time to call it good enough for now. Don't bother trying to come after me. There's one thing I'm still good at. It's running away. See you! Uh. So, the perpetrators behind this case are probably that salesman you met and a Digimon working together. It's unfortunate he got away, but we'll live. As we suspected, those two probably used that LDC unit to gather up girls' data and then used it to make the super ultra true puppets. Then does that mean you guys check out the LDC unit in, in Akiba? That probably means you have a good idea of who's behind our dolls then, right? Don't get too excited. We didn't arrest the guy, but we got him cornered. I doubt he'll try to pull something like this again anytime soon. But the question still remains as to what's become of the Perfect Girl Project now. Hmm. At the very least, we know each doll's looks are derived from a real person. Dull's realism is then used to help sway the potential candidates to join the project. But what is the Perfect Girl Project even really about in the first place? I think Detective Kurumi mentioned that people who are a part of it have been disappearing, right? Indeed. Daddy actually picked up some rather useful information 
about what's required of anybody who does join the project. Well, what is it? Anybody who has their dream girl sent to their room can never leave it ever. I'm sure I don't need to explain why that's probably a bad deal. Oh, what's this? My, it's a URL left at the scene of the crime. This might come in handy, Natty. I want you to go to that URL and check it out. But, don't worry about going too deep inside. If you don't know what you'll find in there, it's very possible we could be dealing with something extremely dark and sinister. Dark and... sinister? We're talking as grim as the stuff you look at for fun in your club. Maybe even more so. Whatever's on the other side, it's not going to be pretty by any means. Uh, I guess we're already jumping into it. Damn it, I wanted to stay there. Uh, oh, yeah, we can save right now. Okay, I'm going to end this video off here. here for now, you guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.